Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispa? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. And what the hell were you thinking? How dare you defy the truth? The street. next time you shut him in the council, I'll you, you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Gil. Ah. Uh. Go then, see what you can learn. But no more rash action. Yes, Mentor. It's easier on yourself. Tell me <laughs> what's all the fuss. <laughs>
This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you?
It was a crime worthy of death under Tiberius to praise Brutus. Caligula condemned to death those who were so sacrilegious as the image of the emperor. Once tyranny invented the crime of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic, who could have dared to think that it merited a punishment more gentle than death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime? When when it conceived in its delirium the project of avenging God himself, was it not necessary that they offer him blood and bring him down to bear the monster of the Lord? Oh, the Templar is You finished? Near enough. Now here's the thing. I can go on like this all day. But you? You got an hour left in you? Two at the most. Half if I bring out the sharp bits. So why not skip the end game and go directly to me? Tell me where it is, and all this can be over. What was that? <laughs> You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. You heard the weasel, boys? Did you really throw him out the window? Trash belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen. Who? My boys are watching the whole place. They'll deal with it. Good Samaritans. They'd better. The Grandmaster won't be happy if the whole plan comes unraveled because of one dead peon.
convince the revolution out of one side of its mouth while he promises to support the constitution out the other. Good. I thought the great work requires patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Sivir and the one they do. Oh, Sivir and the war already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Serbrat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Serre will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Clever, Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be so lucky. Oh, bloody what the <laughs> The spy will be making a run for it. with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be so lucky. Quite right.
You can't help. You want me to find a nice convenient lamppost to hit you up?